So most types of wildlife research involves at least some form of trapping and releasing animals. And most of the time that's chill, but sometimes some unintended things can happen when you're trapping and releasing animals for research. So most of the time when animals get trapped for research, they kind of the process is they go into the trap, there's a little bit of food in there, they spend the night or however long, and then researchers come, they take measurements, they weigh them, they assess the health and everything, and then they release them. Most of the time the animals are like, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. But sometimes there's this thing that happens called the animals getting trap happy. And that happens when the animal that was previously trapped is like, you know what? Like, this is a pretty good deal. I come into this trap, like this little area, there's a bunch of food, there's no predators, it's just me in here, I'm safe, I'm full, I'm just chilling. And like, I think I wanna stay in here. And so this animal continuously gets trapped on purpose now so it can eat the food and in the morning it's assessed and released by the researchers rinse and repeat now this can screw up your data a lot because if you're continually measuring the same like raccoon or something over and over you're not actually getting any new data you only have the data from that one raccoon and so then your whole study is kind of useless so these trap happy animals are basically just gaming the system and they're getting free food and shelter but it's really messing with the scientists data and i think that's really funny another very funny unintended consequence of research involves bird banding so bird banding is done basically you catch a little bird you measure it assess its health whatever and then you put these colorful little bands on it these bands are used for a bunch of different purposes, and yeah, I'm not gonna go into that because I don't really know, I haven't done anything with bird banding, but there is a very funny unintended consequence of this sometimes. And that is when the birds with bands have a much higher reproductive rate than birds without bands. This is due to sexual selection because for some reason in certain bird species the females of the species think that these bands are really really hot so the male of the species will get banded for science for research and then released and when it goes to mate it will have a lot more success than unbanded males because the sexual selection is skewed in favor of the banded birds because the females again they're like damn I like that guy. And this messes with the data because while unintentional, you're still artificially influencing this population of birds. Like, it's not on purpose. The scientists don't want to give these birds extra riz with these bracelets, but it's still happening. This is especially funny because nobody really could have predicted this. You don't think like, oh yeah, I'm just banding these little birds that you're gonna give them a super sexy outfit, but it happened and I just think that's really funny.